This is Pastor Vance, January 3rd, 2022, the start of a new year. Uh, it's a Monday, and I have encouraged uh, the people live the, the last few weeks to choose a Bible reading program for this year. Um, and I, I've handed one out there live. This one's called the Discipleship Journal Bible Reading Plan or the Navigator's Bible Reading Plan. You, you might find it that way online. And I'll leave a link to this plan here below. Um, it's a great plan, I think, because it, it all has four different paths. And if you read each path each day, you'll read through the whole Bible in a year. Uh, but maybe that's too much for you, so you could divide it up. There's two paths through the New Testament, one through the Gospels, one through the rest of the New Testament. And two paths through the Old Testament, one through the wisdom literature, like the Psalms and Proverbs. And one through the rest of the Old Testament. If you've never had a, a daily Bible reading before, maybe you want to start out with something small that, that's easy to digest. And you just want to read through the Gospels. If you've never read through the Gospels, it's a great challenge for you this year. And just read little bits of it every day and to journey through the year with the story of Jesus. If you've never read through the New Testament, those two tracks are really easy to read together. They don't take a lot of time. For, for instance, today we read uh, 12 verses in chapter 2 of Matthew and then 21 verses in chapter 2 of Acts. And so right there, you don't have a lot of verses. You just get a couple minutes a day involved in that. There's some days it might be a little more than that, but there's some days that are less than that. And so you could read through the New Testament this year in just a few minutes a day. And so I'm going to be reading those tracks, and this is encouragement to read along with me. Perhaps you have a whole different plan, and that's okay too. Something that works better for you. There's lots of plans out there, and there's not a right or wrong one. I just want to encourage you to have one, to be in the Word of God this year, and to let Him speak to you through it. And so what I'm going to do is um, every day, or, or not every day, but nearly every day, particularly weekdays, uh, I want to post uh, just a short little video like this one here, just sharing a devotional about something that stuck out to me. It's not going to be a teaching. It's not going to be a long lesson. I'm not going to delve into any you know, Greek and Hebrew words. At least I don't think so. But just something that God used to speak to me in my heart. And um, I, I want to encourage you to do the same thing. So we'll be posting this on our YouTube page, our Facebook page, and then I'll probably share some or, or all of them on my personal Facebook page as well and encourage you in the comments in any of those to just leave what God used to speak to you in scripture that day, whether you're in a journey with the, our, our plan or not. And that way we can share with one another throughout the year what God is teaching us, what God is speaking to us and what we're learning through um, our journey with him. And I uh, also want to encourage you, if you have questions about your readings, e even if you're not in our plan, to, to ask questions about maybe some hard verses or some hard things, things that don't make sense or, or people that you, you're just unfamiliar with. It's a simple way for you to leave in those comments some questions. And then if I get enough questions, I want to take them maybe once a week. If I had a lot of them, or maybe once a month if they're not so many, and, and have a video where we go a little deeper, and not just the devotional thought, but I can answer some of the hard questions that, that come up as we study the scriptures. And that way we can look and see that, that there are answers for some of the hard things that, that we read. And so whatever questions that you have, I want to encourage you to leave them as well. Normally these videos would just be a couple minutes long. Today's a little bit longer as I introduce you to, to what we're doing. But what really spoke to me is something that really jumped out to me in my readings over the first couple of days. It comes from Genesis chapter 4. And this really spoke to me as we start the new year. It's a story of Cain and Abel. And when God hadn't really accepted Cain's gift, and he's, he's blessed Abel, and Cain gets angry. That's what it says in verse 5, that uh, Cain was very angry and looked dejected. And so God speaks to him and asks him why he's angry. And he goes on to say this, Sin is crouching at the door, eager to control you, but you must subdue it and be its master. He, he tells Cain that there's, he has a choice to do what's right or wrong. And in this new year, you know, as we think about changes we want to make, resolutions we make, you know, we start our new diets and exercise plans and all the things that we start at the beginning of the year. 
I want to encourage you to remember this, that there's always these, these choices that we make every day every moment of every day, to do what's right or wrong. Sin is always crouching at our door, not just some of the, the really big sins that we talk about. But it's easy. There's always opportunities to do the wrong thing. There will always be opportunities to do the wrong things in, in your relationships, in your marriage, with your kids, at work. Or There's always opportunities to have the wrong attitude. There's opportunities to think about things the, the wrong way, to respond to people the wrong way. Social media allows sin to crouch at our door all the time. These things people say and do make us angry, make us upset. And, and we think it's really easy to, you know, to type something back that, that's sarcastic, that's cruel, that's mean. Or, you know, I don't necessarily do that. I don't get to, you know, respond a lot on social media. But there, there's sometimes I'll, I'll tell my wife some things that, you know, I'll make some comments that, that maybe aren't. They're not edifying. They're not appropriate. I'm allowing that that sin to crouch in my door and affect my heart and my mind. I'm not necessarily making the right choices there. And so I want to encourage you to be on the lookout for that. that. That there's always a choice for us to do right and wrong. And it's always going to be easy to do the wrong thing because because it's always going to be there. It's always going to be right around the corner. It's always going to be ready to pounce in that moment when you are impatient, in the moment that you're weak, in the moment that you, you know, you're not really paying attention. It's easy to allow it to subdue you. And what happens is, as God tells Cain here, it becomes your master. It controls you then. It's in charge. We must make the choices to subdue those things, to be in control of our lives. We must make intentional choices every moment of every day to, to seek after the Lord and to do what's right, to do what he's called us to, and to, instead of destroying our brothers and sisters as Cain ends up doing, building them up, learning from them, growing with them. That's what we're doing here in this. We're, we're using this tool to encourage one another, to, to journey with one another, to be there for one another, so we can lift one another up in this hard time. The world gives us all these opportunities to tear one another down. Let's make, let's make the choice to have the opportunity to build one another up in this year, 2022. I hope that as you choose a Bible reading plan with us, that God will bless you through it, that God will speak to you through it, that God will help us all to grow closer together through it in this year. If you if you have any questions about a plan, you want to find a new plan, the ones we have don't work for you and you, and you want something different, uh, I'll, I'll help you figure out and write your own if that's what we need. But um, if you don't have one and you need one, I encourage you to reach out to me and I'll, and I'll help you find something that works for you so that you can journey and grow closer to Jesus in this year.